Hello, fellow bookquesters. It is I, Aaron, the bookquester. So today I am here to talk about this awesome fantasy book, The Books of Beginning, two book two, The Fire Chronicle by John Steve by John Stephens. I'm sorry, I have a bit of a cold today, so I'm gonna read you clearly, but a little bit smaller than usual. Two magical books, three lost siblings, one unforgettable adventure. Let's get right on to it. As usual, the main characters are Kate, Michael, Emma, and they are siblings, and they are the meant they are meant to become the keepers of the three books of the beginning. The Atlas and two other books. In the first book, the Emerald Atlas, Kate, the oldest of the three siblings, became in position of the Atlas. The Atlas had a complete map of all possible time, all possible futures, all possible past, all possible, possible nows. And that is the Atlas of Time. It is the map of time. But what is the next book? It is known as the Chronicle or the Chronicle of Life, or the Fire Chronicle. And, and, then, and we think that the next keeper might be Michael. Well, let's see. The three siblings are back in their old orphanage, and with the horrible Miss Crumley bullying them and everything. And the reason for this is that um, Dr. Pym, she needs to do something, take care of some job. And he knows that his children would be safer at the old orphanage than at Cambridge Falls. There, they are attacked by creatures or Morum Catty or ghouls. They are horrible creatures, and their screams are terrifying enough to send a grown man screaming for his life. And, and he... Our dear Michael becomes the oldest for a little bit because Kate grabs a little screecher who had attacked them and went back into the past to ditch the stupid, annoying screecher in the past. But Kate never did return, which is super annoying, by the way. Then, our dear... Michael and Emma were rescued by our dear Stanislaus Pym, the, med the wizard. The old weathered wizard rescued them, and they looked for clues for where the chronicle was hidden. And they found, they found, and Michael found out how to find a book. He found, with, with the assist of, doc of Dr. Pym, they found a tomb, a tomb of the guardian of the book. And it said there were three potions, and there was a little riddle. And Michael solved that riddle, drank all the potions at once. And that showed him a clear image of where the chronicle lay, Antarctica. But then, at the grave, Rourke, the right-hand man of the dire Magnus, has been chasing them. And he was upon them, and they could not run. And Dr. Pym, our dear powerful old wizard, went to slow down Rourke. And uh, Emma and Michael were picked up by Gabrielle, the sword wield the falchion wielding warrior that was introduced at the end of in the well in the story of the Emerald Atlas. And the crew go to Antarctica, and there they find a cave, and inside the cave, once they go through it, they find a paradise, for the chronicle was of life, and it was life itself. Its magic was pumped up from the core of the world, and its magic could bring life to any place that is, that's even the most desolate places. And there they find an old, old volcano and an old fortress. There, they know the Chronicle is hidden, but the dragon is guarding the Chronicle. 
Could our dear Michael grab the Chronicle and live it out of it? I don't know. Personally, I think it's very ironic. Because Michael, he is a real big dwarf fan. Mostly because dwarf never, dwarves never, ever, ever leave their families. They are loyal to their clan and they will never do anything bad to their family. And Michael really loved that because, well, you know, he was kind of like ditched by his parents and he's an orphan. So he kind of liked that part about dwarves. And dwarves, in, in particular, really thought elves were silly and annoying. But there they meet elves. And, and Michael find out that the dragon was actually an elf princess who was underneath a, a, an enchantment. And our dear Michael, he destroys the enchantment and fights the false guardian who was a murderer and a traitor. And he and Rourke and his army had arrived. So basically this book is really fun and it's about Michael the second oldest and who always thinks that he should be the oldest. He uses the Chronicle to bring lives back and it's just a great book to read. And it talks of elves and dwarves and our dear main characters and the books of the beginning. It's really ironic because our dear Michael, he falls in love with an elf princess and he hates elves. So. We'll see how that turns out in the next book, The Reckoning, or The Black Reckoning. And great book, guys. You have to read it. And I think this is a really good collab. Because me, as while the Michael and Emma has, has these awesome adventures, our dear Kate is time traveling and meet the, and finds the dire Magnus' darkest of secrets. And I think this is really great because, as I have mentioned, it's a great collab of time travel, fantasy, elves, dwarves, battles. Well, what's not to love? And like always, your bookquester, Aaron the bookquester.